Greetings, beautiful soul. Let us take a look at tarot card messages in love for zodiac sign Cancerian. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to view these messages as entertainment. Take out resonates and use your discernment. Beautiful energy. So, love messages for you. What I was picking up while shuffling. Hold on. Yes, that someone is miserable without you. So miserable. Someone is at their wit's end. Someone is pacing back and forth. They've had it. This person, they, they're just going to, they're about to break tower card, right? And then they want to move toward you with the, the twin flame card showing up. And then, guess what? The world card ended up on the bottom of the deck and I feel like a bit stuck. I'm like, what is this? So the world card is talking about some new cycles. Um, I'm guessing someone is really tired of waiting. All right. Oh my God, the Eight of Swords. Someone is tired of like being b shadowed, of being banned from your life, of being blocked, no communication. They can't see you. They can't speak to you. They don't know what's going on. So they don't know. Look, oh my gosh, I literally said, I don't know. I had no idea. I feel like you had no idea that this... I hear someone was... Ter ter something about terminal. I feel like you had no idea that this person was feeling like this. So you're getting to know how someone is really feeling. They cannot stop thinking about you. And I'm hearing something about denying. This person is shy. And they're also giving me black sheep energy. They're really smart as well. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, all this person can think about is you. And I feel there's something coming up where you're going to be saying yes. You're going to be celebrating in love. There's an offer coming true for you. You're you're going to realize that something was being something was in the making about this twin flame connection that you did not realize you're about to see this coming through, this manifesting, right? Um there's this person that is watching you. Something about a father, something about a Capricorn. Someone is really watching you. Someone is jealous. I'm hearing guilt. Yeah, some, someone is feeling jealous of you. All right, let's see. Facade. Someone wants you for themselves. Fate. Someone, um, someone has prayed for you. Eight of Swords, King of Swords. They feel like you belong to them. Growth. This person, they want to be with you, to work with you to like grow with you in every way i'm getting this energy of a movie where there were these witches that turned some youths into rats i'm getting that kind of a weird vibe for some of you you how does that feel enlightenment so some facts and truth is coming out as well i'm getting a spell okay perfection i feel like someone put a spell on on you or a capricorn or a binding or something with the eight of swords right there so two oh my god rejection someone also broke up someone's connection and then someone is finding out the truth about that that someone like let's say you broke up with someone that your ex is finding out the truth that it was someone else that caused an interference and they're upset like your ex is upset at whoever broke up your connection and they're like they're really mad and they want the truth and they want to fix things right this person is learning why you rejected them because of some lies or something like that okay mm -hmm. someone wants to fix things they may be coming around to where you work so that they can speak with you Rejection. I feel like they don't want to be rejected. That's a song. Like I, um, I'm not quite sure which song. It's like grief. This person, they don't want to lose you. They don't want to have to lose you. Someone is even crying. Tears. Impasse. Wow, this person, they actually feel like they've lost you. They're crying, dissipating. Alright, this person, it's they don't know what to do. Look, release. They don't know what to do. Right, someone is feeling really sad, isolation, and alone, and and broken, and how they think about you, they really want you, and they're trying to think of a way how to, they sit night and day and think of a way how to, to meet with you, to see you, right, to figure out what's going on, um, 
to figure out a way how to talk to you what went wrong yeah this person has been grieving for real they sit in the dark and they think and think <laughs> it's like it's literally like a suspense drama slash a little bit of comedy because it's not it's deep you know but it's not scary because i feel like this person is also healthy they're not toxic they're just trying to figure out what happened what separated the two of you what got in between they're trying to figure out the space the meaning of the space the in between the waiting period okay someone is just really trying to understand you but look impatience this person is running out of time this person they want answers this person they want to show up impatience grief they can't bear not having you anymore or not hearing what is going on anymore okay let's see gossip so they've been asking about you trying to get information on you getting tabs on you typing on the little computer trying to go on the web to find out more about you researching you talking to people about you they're not really getting anywhere i think something about money this person they're not really getting any information they're not getting what they need from it's you directly they're gonna the type of information they want they need to speak to you directly Some, something is driving someone up the wall i feel like they really want you back and this person they want to be they want to show up they want to be the person in your life they just feel impatient. It's like they, they, they're not trusting the process that you are, you and them are going to end up being together. So they're really on, they're not, they don't have faith right now because the distance and the lack of communication is feeling scary to this person. Service. But you may be doing something, working, focusing upon growing your business or healing yourself or dealing with your own shadows. Yeah, the enlightenment card. Okay. Okay, so whew, some something about a Frankenstein, a makeover and a make believe. Wow, <laughs> full card. Oh my gosh, the full card is literally making believe. Can you make me believe? No, I got it. Da -da someone wants someone listen, someone is really, really in love with you. Okay, you hear what I am saying to you? Someone is falling for you okay and they don't they feel like a fool for you and they don't know what to say or how to, they don't know how you're gonna think about them tripping over this you may have met this person by accident you may have like ran into them in in some weird way all right and um <laughs> This person they cannot do without you. It's like a, a a story, and they have to find you again. It's it's your meeting with this person was serendipitous. That is what it is. That's what it is. That's how it feels like. Okay. Wow. The bittersweet card and the discovery card. It was like by accident. I said I think I was saying by accident that you all met, but it wasn't accident. That is why it was so serendipitous. It's literally, if you've ever had serendipity in your life, it was when you met this person. Because the universe was not, the universe was playing around. The universe was joking with both of you. Like, ha ha ha, let's have fun with these two people. So it felt like an accident, you know. But it was truly aligned. We need to talk to the angels about this one. Oh my gosh, expansion. I'm literally saying we need to talk to the angels about this one. Because we need to figure out... What kind of game were they playing? Why they made you to meet? There's something more to this. And this is why this person, they're stuck on things, stuck on you, thinking about everything. They've got to see you again. You're on this person's mind so much. They talk about you or they want to talk about you or they want to talk to you. The angels know <laughs> you're all going to go talk to them. You're going to get wiser information, some wisdom. Um, you're going to understand why. There's a deeper reason why it has to do with money and new beginnings. It's like the angels made you meet, let's say, for something good, for something marvelous to happen, okay? For you to see each other's dark side or each other's light or something. It, it, was, it was beautiful, okay? Trickery. Um, oh, my gosh. With the trickery card, it was like it was a test to see something, Maybe if both of you would come out of your shell, Rastom or something, enlightenment, you were both to teach each other something here. Okay? 
this oh my gosh the hang one because this person is realizing this truth now they've done so much thinking about it that they are coming to a realization the hangman card that i hear like nothing's true or nothing has got to be true like nothing is a coincidence nothing it all happens for a reason so with the enlightenment card that keeps coming out something about a dream and where you used to live before maybe you have similar paths miracle you're about to find the answers why you're about to find a missing connection a missing link that joins you both together in some way you have similar visions you're about to learn what your similar vision is with this person. And I'm feeling like they love you. I hear driven and passionate, insightful, instinctive. This person is connected to you in your soul spirit. Like you've already meshed with them. Look, passion. You're, you're, this person is so into you and you're into them. Do you know who I'm talking about? For some of you, this is like a father energy. Insecurity. Because this person is here to help you heal to, to help you rise up, teach you lessons, heal, heal maybe some of your your father issues, right? And love you, love some of the parts of you that you've given up on, so on and so forth. Bring them back to life, remind you of certain parts of yourself, gratitude, and, and let you love yourself all over again in a new view. Renewal, right? <laughs> this was a blessed connection that was supposed to happen, joy. Okay, you were probably supposed to have this person's baby, child, the the world card, recovery. You're supposed to even get healthier, get better mentally, physically, spiritually, uh, maybe from some love spell that happened in your past to un un um to unwind your heart from past connections and fall in love again, or at least free your spirit or break some spell or something like that right perfection i feel like you're so you're naturally beautiful someone cannot get their your face out of their mind your aura your essence your energy it's like you are there of their own spirit you know yeah so but the bittersweet card is like it's a bittersweet feeling yeah it's a bittersweet feeling yeah five of cups it's a longing they miss you they also enjoy the mystery of the connection and the getting to know you. Six of Cups. They're coming around. Discovery. They're coming around to the truth or they're coming around to find you. And it won't be long. Five of Cups. They've, they've got to get over the Five of Wands. Sorry. Energy first. Some hurdles and distractions and family drama. It's almost like someone has got to prove themselves. You know, by doing the obstacle. Going through the obstacle courses. To, um... Yeah, it's like a recommendation from the from destiny energy. You make it your destiny by showing up, by putting out. Yeah, and this person, when you all do that, you're about to marry or get a lot of wealth. New beginnings, that's the energy for you both. Breakthroughs. So who is this person? There could be some family dramas and exes, like I was saying. But I'm really getting a new love. Completion, yeah. You're, oh, oh, the, <laughs> you're putting so this new love is supposed to end you it's supposed to help you go into a new beginning or really close past cycles like closing chapters closing a book starting just being a new you for real yeah but you've been confused you've been like holding on to the old energies the sadness not letting new vibes into your vibration I feel like that was kind of wrong. You're kind of stuck in your old way when it was really time for a change. Yeah, forgiveness. It was time to let yourself go, to forgive yourself. This is a loving reading. To heal prayer. To realize that God is with you. Your prayers are being heard and answered. So this person sent your way was an answer for a prayer. That's the thing. This person was praying for you and you were praying for them. And then that is why it was a serendipitous connection. Because you thought it was an accident, but it was actually meant to be. And I'm telling you both that the universe was having a little bit laugh about it. Yeah, they were having a little bit of chuckle. Could have been two gods or a god and a goddess playing both energies. I'm playing with you both for real, like a mythology, right? It's so cute. It's like something out of a movie. 
and yeah this is gonna help to change the world can you believe i'm telling you that this love connection with you both is supposed to change the world change both your world and the world in general and your world with this person is changed for real this is like a fairy tale connection where you're both you both coming together would change the world it's giving me um shrek energy and fiona when they came together and you know they somehow broke a spell that was affecting the entire the entire community that they were in or the entire village or the entire world you know they changed people's mind people's perspective they lifted up the world they made love beautiful that kind of positive energy and change you are to bring and i'm getting the frog energy right you are supposed to change the world with this new love connection it's so beautiful and i'm telling you that this person they really love you okay they love you because you love yourself and you love this person because they love themselves right it's so it's just a beautiful attraction it's so natural you're both you're gonna move these barriers you're gonna you are both making it over these obstacles the angels may just may come in and interfere and this uh, the grief energy is what you are all healing in the world right feelings of loss and mother earth is for sure working with you both for surely like the ancestors are working with you all i hear listen and you should be wise and step up step up to step up trust yourself okay make that move nothing is gonna hold you back i feel like the battle is tough you know what i mean the, like maybe your spiritual battles that you're dealing with your own belief your programmed mindset all of these things your own life experiences that were maybe unpleasant um these things your dreams things that you don't know you're not sure about maybe your own standards and boundaries that you've put up because of certain other life experiences whatever blockages stand in the way you should pray about it if you really want to see the truth of the connection you can have with this new person in your life all right pray about it be divine about it be divine all right take the lead <laughs> okay in some way we'll see so how can you take the lead how can you take the lead in this divine love connection make them wisdom like be be calculative be smart be direct think about things take a deep breath and make a move victim nothing is gonna hold you back um you're not going to be rejected i'm getting a wolf energy i'm getting the wolf from red riding wood but somehow in a good energy recovery and perfection i feel like you have got this perception you are healing okay um bittersweet wow someone is really afraid of taking that step forward uh maybe so asking asking someone out or doing asking someone to do something that you like or that they like breaking the eye and finally maybe you know sending a message or recovering from going back to connecting to some past energies um something about money asking out someone in a date so i'm feeling minding your business showing up serving your purpose working on yourself being delightful being just continue oh yeah it's like continue being you you could be dating or it could be an earth sign it could be pisces or earth sign aries okay just continue being you being free being kind being like working on your heart chakra your solar plexus chakra then the universe will continue to guide you both together again serendipitously it will seem but when you're both operating in your light beautiful healthy energies the universe can like use you or not use you but work through you because you're not holding yourself back you're following your heart and you're following what feels good all right and when you're doing that you make the best moves and your meeting seems like an accident when it was really aligned because i feel like when you when you live like this you can read this person's mind and they can read your mind whether you know it or not it, we are talking about the universe aligning you and it's literally just you and you you and this person following each other's maps okay 
because you are so your north star energy you're after the same vision so you're literally listening to each other's hearts each other's directions each other's wisdom by listening to your own heart your own wisdom your own direction and so therefore you both align it's beautiful um so let's see what this eight of diamonds is Someone is thinking, reading, writing, working, you may be a journalist, you work online, you work with words, or you're working on yourself, you've done enough work on yourself, you've done a lot of work on yourself, believe in yourself, instincts, trust the process, like, it's reminding me of Jack in the movie Titanic, where he had to trust in himself, even despite whatever, I don't know, something, renewal, you've got this. <laughs> All right, so take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one, beautiful soul. Bye.